Hey everybody, welcome to another tutorial from the Reaper blog. In this video, I will show you the render item as new files function. And this is something that I use quite a bit, and today I was using it along with the Easy Drummer Groove Editor. This is an action where you select an item and you basically drag and drop it to somewhere else, and it'll create a new file based on that selection, the entire item. Um, if it's an audio file, it will create an audio file. If it's MIDI, it will create a MIDI file. I don't think a lot of people know about this function. So here's how to do it. Now this is a mouse modifier. So I want you to open up your preferences and then go to mouse modifiers in the editing behavior category. In the context, choose media item and then go over to left drag. The mouse modifier I use is command option and render item to new file. Just double check that this is selected for you. Hit OK. Now to use it for audio, um, it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, I'm just going to drag it to the desktop. So let's get some room here. Um, so let's just take this phrase here. All right, so we'll just take this file. I'm going to hold down Command and Option, and then left click and drag, and I'm dragging it to the desktop. All right, so now it's a new file. So I'm just going to hit Spacebar to play this. It's California. There you go. It's it's basically just um, it will consolidate any edits that you've done. Uh, it doesn't print any of the effects from the track. Okay, so now let's do it with MIDI. Let's open up the Easy Drummer 2 editor. So I'm going to take this drum pattern here. Here's what I have so far. Okay, pretty basic. So I'm just going to select this, hold down Option and Command, and then drag it in. If you want to play it back in context with the song, you would put it in time, so bar 71. And then you would mute your item. All right. So now if we're playing, it's playing out of the MIDI uh, playlist in Easy Drummer. So if we double click it, we can now see which instruments are playing. And I want to add the shaker. And I, I've been doing this all day, so I know that I want it on this setting and also tambourine. It's a little bit quieter. And uh, so let's hear that now. Yeah, pretty basic, but uh, that's all I need. I'm going to delete this and then drag and drop back into the track and then remove it from Easy Drummer. Here we go. Okay, so that's the render item as new file function. Hope you found this useful. Give the video a like if you liked it, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and check out reaperblog.net for more tutorials. Thanks, bye.